Hello everybody, I would like to share with you my theory about choosing a new guitar. So I will just make this quick video. I'm just, I'm even using my mobile phone just to make this simple and fast video. So when I'm going to choose a new guitar, what thing that came to my mind that I need to check? So for me actually, buying a new guitar is the same that I'm going to get a new girlfriend for myself. Actually, I spend more time with my guitars than I spend with my girlfriends. And you need to do the same if you want to be a good guitarist. I'm not a good guitarist yet, but I'm trying to be. So, when I'm going to get a new guitar, I think about the rule that I have in my life. It's called 3 plus 1. This is the same rule that I'm going to use when I get a new girlfriend. So, what are these 3 plus 1 rules? And what they are not just for? So, let's check it. First rule in the 3... First point in the main 3 point is... It looks pretty. This is the first thing you're going to... You're going to think when you're going to choose a new girlfriend. You see her, you love how she looks like, she's pretty in your eyes. Then you start to think. Nobody chooses a girl because she's wearing like a t-shirt from George Armani, for example. Nobody doing that. You just see her, she's pretty. You don't, you don't even see what she's wearing or which colors. So the same when you're going to get a new guitar. You look to the guitar, you feel it's pretty. You love how it looks like. So <clears throat> this is how you think about choosing a guitar. You must love the shape of your guitar. You will spend too much time with with your guitar, so you need to love how it looks like, especially when you hang it. <clears throat> so when you go into the shop to buy your guitar, and even if you are alone, you can just ask people who work in the shop to take some pictures for you on your phone and check the picture with the guitar and see it if it's fit to you or no, you love it or no. You feel like there is a chemistry between you and, and your guitar. Second point, it needs to be comfortable actually. Nobody needs to live with a girlfriend which is pain in your head. So. When you're going to get a new guitar, you need to feel it's comfortable. What does it mean when the guitar is comfortable? For example, there is no sharp edges at all. Uh, the frets on the, on the neck, you feel it's smooth and you can go up and down very easily. For sure, the budget can make a difference, but it's still something you feel. I can play with a guitar like 4,000 euro and then I get a guitar with 1,000 euro and I feel the 1,000 euro is more comfortable for me. So this is not wrong. So there is something personal in it. For sure, high budget gives you much better comfortable guitar, but still, it's not the rule. Especially if, for example, if you put a budget and there's like 10 guitars in that budget, choose the most comfortable guitar. This is one of the points that you need to consider it when you choose your guitar. Third point, it should have the same lifestyle like you. So, for example, if you are kind of active person, you love skiing, you love hiking, diving, jumping from helicopter by parachute, don't you choose a girlfriend who loves to sit in the living room with reading a book and watching TV at night. You will never find the common activities together. So the same when you choose your guitar. You need to choose this guitar match your, li your music lifestyle. So if you're going to play, for example, jazz and blues, you don't go and buy like Dean guitar, you don't go and buy... Um, ESP or LTD guitars or this kind of heavy sounds. If you're going to play, for example, for Metallica, Megadeth, playing for uh, Sepultura, Cradle of Fells, Demi Borgia, all this kind of music and like Swedish death metal. So you don't go and buy, for example, really soft and smooth sound guitar. You don't go and buy Fender guitar and going to play, for example, for Cradle of Fells. You will never get the tune out of it. So I need to buy something. In the, in the style of the music. So you need to check the brands and you know each brand, like it's kind of group of brands, for example, playing soft music, heavy music, hard music. You need to think about this point. And the plus one, which is like I call it three plus one rule. So now we're going to the plus one rule, which I will say, try to pay as much as you can. Don't break your bank, don't get a loan or don't like borrow money from your friends, but just see how much you can pay, the maximum you can pay, and pay it. When you take your girlfriend for an outing, you don't choose a cheap place because they are all serving food or coffee. No, you try to take care for the best place that you still can pay the bill. You don't go and wash the dishes. So it's the same when you're going to buy a guitar. See how much you can pay, the maximum you can pay, and put this range, and try to find the guitars in that range, and choose the best of this guitar based on the three rule that I just explained. Why you need to pay much, even if you are a beginner, or just like intermediate, I will not say professional. Because simply, if you get a beginner guitar, you will never make a decent sound from it. It will never help you to improve your techniques. It will always put a headroom over you. While you can see this guitar with a professional guitarist, he can make everything on that guitar. But when you hold it, you think you can. No, actually you will not, because you are not like him. This guy is trained on a nice and decent tools, and then they become so professional that whatever the 
like whatever the equipment they will get in their hand they can make a decent sound and they know how to adjust the effects much better than a beginner person so you need to get a good effect for example if you're going to buy an effect but if not if you're going to buy just a guitar choose the guitar that it's in budget so don't say okay i'm a beginner i'll just get the cheapest one in the market you will not be a guitarist actually because you will not love it so you will not keep playing long time on it you will not improve your skills and your techniques so basically you're just wasting your money so i will not say as i said don't pay everything you have in your guitar see how much maximum you can pay and pay on it don't go for the cheap option hope guys you can get some points from when you're going to choose a guitar from my video and if you got some questions about choosing guitar you can always put a comment below and i will try to reply as fast as possible and I will make another video going a little bit more details for uh, choosing guitar and hope it will be also adding a value for you. So see you guys.